Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. As you can see, I have my Thunderbird email client open, and uh, if you've never used Thunderbird, uh, this, this won't matter, but if you have used Thunderbird, you'll notice these two things are here. Now, this isn't any add-on. We're not using Lightning. This is actually built into the Thunderbird client now. So we're going to be going over how to use the new calendar feature. So to do that, you need to make sure your Thunderbird installation is as up-to-date as possible. Now, currently, the feature is in version 7.8.6 and now I'm running it on Arch Linux so I just had to update my system but if you're using Ubuntu or any of those other ones you're going to need to take other actions and I have that all covered in the article that I wrote in the description so to start off you need to find the calendar button and the calendar button is right here now this is month view but you can also do like multi-week week or day we're going to cover month because it's the easiest to understand so to start you can create an event and you can click event up here now we can set up this is our home calendar we can type in uh, test event our location can be earth category you know let's say it, i don't know favorites you can select any kind of category you can make it an all-day event or you can set it to a specific time for easiness, I'm going to say all day. I usually use all day events anyways for my uh, for my Google Calendar. You can have it repeat daily, weekly, every week, bi-weekly, or not repeat. You can have a reminder for minutes before, hour before, day before. Let's go with, I don't know, five minutes before. It's not going to show up, but you can also write out your description. This is a test event for Thunderbird. And you can also add in attendees. So if you have multiple people who are going to be showing up to this, you can click on your invite attendees, go through your contacts and set that up. You can set your privacy so it's public or whatever. You can attach files and so on. This is just an example, so I'm not going to get into the intricacies. Once I've got everything set up, I can click Save. Now here's my reminder that I just set up. I can dismiss it and we see the test event is right here and I can view it and it's that easy. You also have tasks if you want to do tasks. You know you've got uh, the ability to delete events like so. It's all very cool. I really like it. There's even a synchronization feature so if you rely heavily on Thunderbird like I do, and maybe you use Google Calendar a lot, which I also do, and you want to move to something more open source, Thunderbird is making this possible. The only thing that I really don't like about it is that it's not like uh, accessible on my phone, so I can't access it on my iPhone like I can with Google. But uh, those are trade-offs that everyone has to make. I really think this is a great feature, and I hope that they add some kind of functionality onto mobile to make it more competitive with Google, but uh, this is how you can set up the calendar system in Thunderbird on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.